Hey everyone, so the purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of the two main pancreatic hormones, glucagon and insulin. So glucagon is produced by the alpha cells within the pancreatic islets, and the primary effect is to increase blood glucose by breaking down glycogen into glucose. Um, glycogen is a storage carbohydrate which is um, located in the liver and the muscle cells or if you run out of glycogen your body will begin breaking down other things like fats and amino acids to produce glucose so glu glucagon is released when your glucose levels in the blood begin to fall or um, if your sympathetic nervous system becomes activated, remember your sympathetic nervous system, that's your fight or flight nervous system. So if your body anticipates that you're about to need to um, fight or get away from something, you can increase the blood glucose levels and be ready for that. Um, and it's inhibited by rising blood glucose levels because if you already have plenty of glucose you don't need to release more and insulin which you'll see in a second kind of does the exact opposite um, thing as glucagon does so simplified falling blood glucose causes the pancreas to release glucagon which acts on the liver and muscle cells to break down glycogen or other things if you run out of glycogen which in turn increases the blood glucose. So this is a perfect example of a negative feedback mechanism because um, it's acting like a thermostat. Your body's just trying to return to the set point. Now insulin is produced by the beta cells or, um, in the pancreas. And the primary effect is to decrease blood glucose by causing the cells to take in more glucose. So the secondary effects, once your body has enough glucose in the cells to meet your metabolic needs at the time, then the body will start putting the glucose into storage. Um, first, your body will replace your glycogen stores if it needs to. Um, like maybe you've just been exercising and used a lot of glycogen. Uh, but when you have enough glycogen, then it starts um, putting it into fat. Because glycogen is not a very compact storage form. It's kind of big and loose. So if you stored all your calories as glycogen, you'd look like the marshmallow man. Um, fat is much more dense. So it's a more effective way to store things. Um, also, it allows your body to take amino acids and incorporate it into your muscles. So insulin will be released when your blood glucose levels begin to rise. Um, or also, if your parasympathetic nervous system is activated, so when you're resting and digesting, you're more likely to produ be producing insulin. And it's inhibited by decreasing blood glucose because if your glucose levels drop too much, that's a serious medical concern. So big picture, when your blood glucose begins to rise, your body releases insulin to allow your cells to take glucose into themselves, which then decreases the blood glucose. So if your body um, does not produce insulin normally, you're going to have diabetes mellitus. Diabetes means overflow um, or urine. Mellitus means sweet, like honey. So it literally means sweet urine because once you have enough um, 
excess blood sugar, you start to pee sugar. So the urine would actually be sweet, which I guess before they had more advanced testing, tasting urine was a way to tell if somebody um, had excess sugar in their blood. So type 1 diabetes, insulin is absent, and because insulin causes glucose to enter your cells, glucose in the blood gets higher because it can't get into the cells. Type 2 diabetes, which is typically adult onset, um, you have insulin, but it's not working very well, and once again, the glucose levels will be elevated. So there's three classic signs of diabetes. Um, polyuria, so a lot of urination because you have high blood sugar and your body's trying to remove the excess um, blood sugar through the urine. Polydipsia which is you're really thirsty um, because you have all that sugar in your blood and your body's trying to dilute it. So you're peeing out lots of water and sugar. And polyphagia, which is, uh, if you remember phage means to eat like a macrophage, is you're really hungry because even though you've just eaten, and there's plenty of glucose in your blood, the glucose can't get into the cells, so you're starving on the cellular level, so you're still wanting to eat, um, even though you've already taken in enough calories. All right, so that's my quick and easy synopsis of insulin and glucagon. There's definitely a lot more to be said about both of them, and there's a lot more to be said about diabetes, but hopefully this will give you a good foundation upon which to build. Um, I hope it was helpful. Have a good day and have fun learning.